Generals, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Rise of Nations. We are the Generals, gentlemen. My name is Gigi Arkonhawk. And my name is Gigi the Mach... Cricket Gamer! Very fast! I enjoy it. What? What, what is The happened? game is still happening, though. But I don't get it. I'm very confused, machine. It said the game is... I'm very like... confused. Well, let's keep going. Are we going to keep going? I... I don't know, man. I just I don't know what's happening anymore. Well, I do a good <laughs> intro and uh, the the game ends apparently and plays the game ending music. Yeah, but the game is still going. Yeah, okay, I'll just roll with well, it. Let's um, go with it. Hey, whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, well, that was uh, exciting. But anyway, hopefully the game will be more exciting because we're gonna have Red Bull as the Egyptians versus Mr. L. John Stark as the Chinese. Oh, I know what happened. Oh no, we we were I think we were spectating an observer that quit. Ah, okay. Because remember before right. it said El Abu, and now yeah. it says El John Stark. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, John Stark? That's not historically correct. No, not really. Maybe it's is that a is that a new thing that we're not? Well, this is like, dude, that's really rude. This is Rise of Starcraft Where's too. the bro code, man? Yeah, Where's the bro code? It gives me bad nightmares of, of trying to build my barracks, but some scumbag's drone is, is hitting my FCV. But yeah. now we're going to have another citizen pulled. This is actually a, a pretty cool technique that you, you don't see players use very often in Rise of Nations, is the, the villager harass. Yeah. But uh, often, though, there will be a couple of, pl of, of citizens preemptively rallied towards their, their second uh, small city. But anyway, the, this is, as we can already see, a pretty high-tier match. Red Bull uh, and, the, and John Stark. I haven't heard of this guy, but I know Red Bull is definitely one of the top players in Rise of Nations. These guys play under Smurfs as well, so... Uh, it's hard to always know. We are excited to be casting Rise of Nations, though. It is a pretty damn cool game. Now, now that we, we, we sorted out what our little crisis there was, yeah. we're, we're, we're feeling good. We're optimistic. We've, we've organised it. We're okay with it. We're ready to go. I bet everyone's laughing at us because they know exactly what it means, but anyway... We're, we're a very it's a learning experience. It is, yeah. It's all a learning experience. So, will we have a, uh, a quick market there with the caravan coming out? I expect something similar here from John Stark. Indeed, it is going to be the, the market. A little bit later, though, of course. Um, plus, should be a little bit more food income from Red Bull. He does have the, the granary, but it looks like, actually, there's an extra farm, uh, which explains why the, the market is a little bit delayed here from John Stark. Do we have a little bit of uh, aggressive citizen movement here from John Stark? Just trying to find as many ruins as possible. Can be nice to go aggressive before you go defensive and look for your own uh, safe ruins, if that makes sense. Now, I was just about to say, I wonder why John Stark put his market to the right. Normally, you see players put their market in between their cities, like how we see that here from Red Bull. And the reason why is so that... If your caravan is harassed, you can actually garrison it inside the market. Mm. It looks like the reason why he did that was so he could get his merchant that spawns for free when you build a market right near this gems, these yeah. gems. Which increase your uh, national borders in addition to getting you the extra knowledge and wealth income. As we see the, the civic fights, we could see some mine pressure coming out here, especially onto Red Bull because of his city position uh, and the fact that the territory borders are right over those uh, mines. There's every chance... Uh, that additional civics here could start pushing back in terms of metal income later on in the game. Plus, of course, then the merchant it, it can garrison the market yeah. if, if it gets harassed. Excellent and and give, given how close it is to the enemy's uh, second city, it looks like this, this could be uh, very easily harassed. So actually, I think that's pretty clever. I like how he's positioned that one there. And, and you can see the... The, the level of, of, of detail that these players execute, they know this game so well that they have the very advanced building placement. Whereas when I'm playing this game, I just build buildings wherever when I need them. You know, I want to mark it. I'll click it here. I'll click it here. This is, a, this is a good spot to go. And that's an interesting spot to put an early hanging gardens machine. Well, I think yeah. more interesting is the fact that it is going early hanging yeah. gardens. And it gives you more knowledge. It does give you cheaper granary, lumber mill, and the smelter production. So I guess it, it kind of works with with Egypt, but yeah, it's it's really see they normally see the Colossus as, as the first unit. It will leave him a bit vulnerable to harassment. It's a bit mm. of an investment that will delay his his uh, stable units. Yeah, well, it delays everything. I mean, it also pulls you know four uh, citizens to be building uh, four, or in this case five 
uh, to be building the hanging gardens for a considerable amount of time. I mean, it's only on 30% so far, and they're going to have to build that one up and then go back to their regular task. So it's going to affect both your economy and your ability to... Uh, Go up, and it looks like it might be scattered here as well. Look for John Stark. We'll just if we can flick yeah. over to his vision. Well, like, we've got to remember though when, yeah. when you build a oh, one. Oh, it gets revealed anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's fine. Man, getting back into Rise of Nations difficult after playing StarCraft Two, and I'm spending all my time scouting other people's bases. But yeah, yeah. the we, wonder is of course revealed. We yeah. do always like to throw out the disclaimer that we are bad at this video game. Yeah. And, and if you are watching this video game for high level. Watching this video for high level analysis and expert advice, then you're on the wrong channel. Or you should go to the comments, you know, one of the yeah. two. <laughs> uh, Either one works. Anyway, so we have the stables here already online for John Stark. Uh, doesn't have his government yet either, but he, he can't afford either, I would expect to see. Oh no, Republic in fact, so won't be going on the uh, the aggressive side, despite the uh, the early wonder there. I thought that considering the early wonder was there, having the despot for that uh, that fast harassment would be a smart choice, but I guess not. Hey, Only not. 68 food income uh, coming out of Red Bull, so he is really committing himself to this, to this sure. Hanging Gardens. Yeah. I guess it's going to save him a lot, a lot of wealth by not having to build a, any scholars from his university. Yeah, that is the thing. It will save wealth, and it's also going to provide him with a, a nice source of, of knowledge income early on, and this is a, a pretty crucial moment uh, when you when you do go up to that classical age. You don't have a lot of knowledge income. It costs a lot. Uh, it costs, you know, a fair bit of timber to add on those universities, and then more importantly, it costs a lot of wealth to uh, add on additional scholars. It's, it still does cost you wealth to build the hanging gardens, though. I'm, I'm, pretty, true, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's food and, and wealth. And, and what, five mer five scholars is is about 180, so it's probably a similar cost mm. uh, as, as far as wealth is concerned. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's a, gr a great reason why he's going for that. But now we do see the uh, the barracks going for the bowmen already. The bowmen are, of course, the counter to the horse archers. So if there is horse archer harassment, having some defensive bowmen can be an excellent choice. And that uh, certainly is a possibility, and this is smart from uh, Red Bull, making, taking full advantage of the Hanging Gardens by adding on a, 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 a lumber mill now. Yeah, clever actually. And But we have the third city in response though, that's going to be pushing the territory back. And this is really important, because this is right near this, uh, this mountain. The left one should still be occupied a little bit here by the city of Amara, by Red Bull, but... It would push it forward a bit. He may not get the full access. And even now, we can see it's not fully connected. So he won't get the, the full mountain. There's probably only going to be maybe four or five uh, mine yeah, miners, that, yeah. which isn't that efficient. And this one only has five as well. So we could definitely see some uh, starving of, of the metal, which is probably the most one of the most crucial resources, I guess, after wealth in, in terms of military units, because your, your knights... And your, your hoplites, your, your heavy infantry and heavy cavalry, both require metal. Right, so the uh, harassment has indeed started machine. If we look over to further right, there we go. Oh, yep. Uh, sniping some some things down uh, eventually. Going for the uh, going for the merchants is the first one taken down. There is, however, a covering tower uh, on the, the second one. Going to be a bit harder for that harassment to come out. And I think that's a, a scout inside the base of Eljon Stark, inside its first... Oh, oh yeah. suck. There we go. Yeah, it is just a scout. Just uh, having a look around, so that's fine. Pretty important, I suppose, in Rise of Nations to have a a good idea of uh, how much your your opponent is investing uh, into economy as well as upgrade buildings. Also, just seeing where the rare resources are, yeah. like seeing the sugar here, for example, has uh, light cover the defender. I think the merchant's actually inside of the tower, so the great positioning there not only serves as a as a garrison, but also kind of forcing away the hoplites. So again, great building positioning here. Same, we see a tower covering over the mine and and the the tower the. Woodcutters camp alike, so uh, great stuff. With this one here, right next to his city, so pretty defensible is is a Red Bull's production Certainly with is. income, yeah. I should say. <laughs> Not the tower. Not the tower getting added on, yeah. Nice way to stop early aggression as well. When you can't be adding on castles, hey towers, do a, a similar thing, especially when you're you're mainly relying on infantry uh, to assault cities early on. Well, other than that, we do have. Definitely a income lead from food and timber. It looks like even a bit of aggressive shoving here. We have what a cataphract, hoplites. No, no kills though because they're both garrison into the, the building. It's going to be hard to push this. Is actually building a temple, so we'll push the territory even further wow. away. Hey, full commitment into these uh, these civic boundaries. Let's see if there's a big switch. Not really that big considering how close. 
uh, Amara is. We didn't really see a big switch in that direction, but it is uh, does push the, the right-hand side a bit further up, and that means I'm supposing there's taxation here for John Stark. would be surprised me a lot if there were wasn't. He's getting the religion upgrade religion gives him now. more borders. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Full commitment. Hey, man, why don't we just go for, like, level level 6 Civic while we're at it, just all the way. Who, who needs to tech up? We'll just go pure Civic. Well, he's taking up right now, actually, yeah. going the Medieval Age. Mm. And we do have an, a Cataphract looking to harass the, the merchant here. The Senator's there for defense with a bribe. So, once again, good preemptive positioning here by Rebel. Looks like he may have actually lost this one, but the bribe should come through in time. And a bit of counter-harassment here. We have, what, two bowmen. Very wide grouping of the squad, and we have the Siege Factory as well. He's trying to kite the bribe. Yeah, he's getting it's it so It's actually a good far. micro from Jon Snow, though. He's kind of coming in and getting one attack off on the merchant. This is actually a cool micro. Oh, that one got a bit too close, though. I think that bribe's no, going to he ambushed. Off. I think it was a miss. Oh, he ambushed okay. this. He's stealth, so he can't actually bribe that. Meanwhile, we do have a third city here, but this one is incredibly exposed. There's currently no defense there. It's, it's very far away. So we could actually see this third city be occupied uh, well, or attacked at least by our man El John Stark. Especially when there's already been a siege factory added on and El John Stark is on medieval. There we go, catapult's coming out now. So we see there is actually a camel coming across, and yeah, no, no, the citizens are being built up now, so probably we'll see a tower come down. We actually saw the, the merchant get sniped as well. The diamond merchant went down. 20 well. That's a very important rare resource. Yeah, as well as the, the commerce limit. That's not going to be a big issue at the moment. I don't think Red Bull's capped out anywhere. Medieval Age completed. So he's going for the third city. Building another barracks as well. Got to so, add on those forward production structures. Yeah, this is the time L. John Stark wants to make something happen here. Despot as well going to be helping out in this attack if we see it come through. This city is very exposed, though. Going for that one definitely would have been an option. The temple's quite far behind, but it's a large city, so it has a lot of health. 3,125. Only 1,200 for the small city. And, there's, of course, there's a tower behind it, so it would be a bit harder to take that one out. And this is a much more uh, siegeable location, and hopefully that is what we see uh, John Stark going for. That camel sound was brutal, man. It totally is. I, uh, sound effects in Rise of Nations are one of my favorite things. They're, they're pretty uh, fantastic. I prefer the, the villager attack animations. The, 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 the crazy bonkers just, kicking. Like the kick. <laughs> yeah, the, it's, it's The great. overhand punch, yeah. They're accurate as well. I mean, they're, they're just citizens. What are they going to do? They're gonna kick stuff. They aren't uh, trained warriors. They don't have no militia upgrade up in here. So, no, that's cool. There goes the, cool. the peacock merchant. What do you, what do you get at pe peacocks? 10, oh, 10 wealth, 10 metal and increase to population limit. Intense. I don't think I've ever gone for peacocks before. Well, I suggest you do, Blake. You change, you change your I habits. Do? Yes. I obviously should, yeah. I'll, I'll ask the uh, the RNG spawning gods to, to make sure there's, there's peacocks next to my next base. Excellent. Well, so we do have the tower being built, the keep, and uh, building up a bit of an army here, but there's two, there's two catapults. Doesn't actually have a supply wagon, and that would definitely help him out. I'm, I'm sure there's no attrition, but having that rate of fire bonus does certainly help out the catapults. He has ambushed in... Uh, with his 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 army, he, we will catch these two villages out of position. Trying to build a lookout tower. Ha ha! Rocky and, Rex. And a uh, Black's favorite unit. My favorite unit. You mean fire lancers, my friend? Fire lancers are indeed the best unit in the game. Don't listen to what anyone else says. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fire fire lance fan. They are fantastic, and a big production of these firelands. Still no temple, out. so this city will go down very fast, though. We do actually have quite a few crossbowmen, but the fire lances are the counter to them. Yeah. Yeah, this is not an engagement the Red Bull wants to take. There's, there's also the light, ca this. the light camels, though, which are going to be good against the the fire lances in turn, but there's pikemen covering them. I was going to so... say, he might just wait for this one, but it looks like Red Bull's actually going to engage here. Oh, I guess the, the large city, okay. though, it's good. gets that uh, the buff of health. But look at the wealth income here. 77 for Red Bull, 150 for John Stark. Yeah, and he's capped out on uh, uh, food, lumber, and the wealth as well. Metal's a bit more as well. So John Stark definitely pulling ahead. Uh, knowledge not much of a, of a disparity, despite that hanging gardens. So I think John Stark's looking incredibly well. I'm a little bit skeptical about this this uh, hanging gardens opener. Yeah, look, I mean, Red Bull's one ahead on military upgrades at the moment. So potentially we could see some upgrades come in uh, onto these units. I haven't seen anything yet, and the large city well, looks like it's going to be going down. They are already medieval age upgrades. Oh, they are. Okay, right. Yeah, pikemen, of course. Yeah. So, 
I mean, you get cheaper units though. So the, the more true. military yeah. you have, it, it's easier to spam out units. But yeah, he needs of course gunpowder age before he can tech up to anything above his his pikemen and his crossbowmen. Mm. Well, even his crossbowmen don't actually upgrade. I can't remember if they get more bonuses, but they certainly are the same unit. Yeah. All right, there we go. It's been reduced. Forces the evac here from Red Bull. He's going to have to pull back. I was under the impression that Red Bull would just kind of chill, build up an army, and just just take the reduce and then try and stop the the assimilation, but. Oh, more harassment yeah, here. Maybe not. Yeah, I gotta love it. So Excellent stuff from John Stark. Everywhere we just see harassment coming out, and this this is the signature of a high tier Rosa Nations game. Merchant harassment, villager harassment. Uh, un unfortunately, I don't think we've seen much caravan harassment, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. That's right, man. It's okay. Uh, Hangar, uh, sorry, Terracot Army is going to be started now uh, for oh, the John Stark special? as well. The Arkonhawk special. Nice. Man, I love free squads. Free squads are my favorite. Uh, gotta love them coming out. Catapult's going to be moving up as well to take out the tower. He goes the engagement. There are a lot of fire lances, though. Yeah, there are indeed. And these camels and the knights getting kind of impaled by these pikemen. Catapult's going for the tower. Uh, looks like the army is going to be too big here for John Stark. Friendly heal territory coming out here for Red Bull, but it's probably not going to be enough. He just doesn't have the, the, the right amount of units. There goes the despot, so losing the armor buff for now, whereas the senator here is actually going to be bribing as well. So the defense wow. looks like it will survive, and the tower is still there as well, doing a fair bit of damage against the knights. The bribe connects here, so fantastic defense coming out of Red Bull. That was very well played. I, I, I guess the firelancers really weren't focusing the crossbowmen for long. There was not enough camel counters as well. I uh, really needed to see... Uh, some more... Camel uh, counters. Camel counters. We need to see some more uh, uh, cavalry, anti cavalry Pikemen. here. Uh, yeah, anti-cavalry here for, for John Snow. Yeah, but uh, more pikemen. Are they... They're still called pikemen, aren't they? Yeah, the yeah, pikemen. pikemen. More pikemen here for, for John Snow to rat out his composition well. Didn't have a lot of cavalry either. Oh, so. Red Bull's going for gunpowder age. Okay, here we go. Go oh, for it, man. So is, so is John Stark. Stark as well. Yeah, they're both going for the, for the gunpowder, but a successful defense. Red Bull's going to be happy about that. We'll have to... Uh, repair this large city. Uh, one of the bonuses, John Stark obviously not having to invest in those large cities, just uh, happily spawning with them as the Chinese. This city is really important because it has this mountain up now where even if this mountain was mining, it would still be so easy to harass that it just wouldn't be an option at all. So, yeah, having this city is going to be valuable for the, the metal income. And let's look, compare the uh, library research for a moment. Looks like... Oh, they're actually all the same, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. You can look on the bottom right as well, which I've been keeping an eye on. So has their full library research. Oh, of course. I did, yeah. yeah, good point. Yeah. Three, so two, it's, two, three. It's, it's the best one to have up. I'm a big fan of constantly checking our library research. Yeah, I remember in um, when we did team games at the start, and we weren't sure how to quickly compare ages. Yeah. And we were, like, flicking through them individually. It says all the ages. Four, four... So there's a temple, that's going to be a big difference. Even a castle would certainly help if you can throw that one down. Uh, but the the wealth income... Income is, is generally still ahead for wow. for John Stark. Still no additional commerce here for, for John Stark. He's been capped out for a now. long time, yeah. He's capped out, but he hasn't really had any, any more. I guess a bit of timber, but that's pretty yeah, much it. That's a fair call, yeah. And he's, he's been timber. investing in his military quite a fair bit. He hasn't really had any... Uh, Float of resources, which is which is impressive because it's very easy to float resources in Rise of Nations. It's a very uh, APM intensive game to, to spend is, all yeah. your resources. And there's so many of them, dude. It's yeah, there's a lot of resources. Yeah. There's like what seven? Seven total, yeah. One, two, three, three four, four, five. Uh, and then oil you, you have oil. Maybe to six. Are we forgetting one? Oh, it's six. Or whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Six is still a lot. I mean, it's more than... I mean, it's more than a few, so I'd say it's a lot. Okay, this army out of, looking like out of position here for John Stark. The crossbowman doing a bit of damage. They're actually turning to engage here, uh, but he's getting hacked apart by the pikemen, the, the camels, the knights. He's popping... I think, has he popped Force March? I'm not sure what, what he spent his, uh, his craft on. Yeah, getting forced back now, and there's there's actually no defense here. There's no tower, there's no, there's no castle either. 200 food now, all of a sudden Red Bull uh, sparking up his, his farms quite considerably. Mm, something else to consider though, the, uh, the Terracotta Army is going to be finished very soon. And, oh yeah. Uh, that's going to mean a lot more production coming out for, for Jon Snark, giving him a nice amount of units. <laughs> Gotta love this. That, that the, build a keep just for a merchant. The world's most defensive keep on yeah. like, what, 20 centimeters away from yeah. the edge of the map? Yeah. 
very efficient. Oh, look at this. Would recommend. More, more harassment still the entire time. It, it's hard to keep an eye on, but there has been harassment pretty much non-stop. Uh, we'll leave a couple of bowmen there defensively. is great to see. So Yeah, really smart defensive option. Terracotta Army has completed. It's going to be great for John Stark, giving him more income. As for Red Bull, though... He has has the, the smelter being built for even more income. Again, the, those upgrades are much cheaper, so he will be benefiting from those upgrades. Yeah, he's actually only on Red Bull's only on 55, uh, 55 pop cap compared to the the seventy two coming out here for for John Snow, John Stark. Man, I got baited, got baited into saying John Snow. This well, is obviously a, a fandom that I haven't heard about. John Stark. Where does it say the pop cap difference? Uh, top right, fifty five. And go back to. Oh, yeah, yeah of course. There you go. Yeah. I, I, I thought I was selecting John Stark, but okay. I wasn't selecting yeah. John Stark. That was my problem. I get, yeah, of course. Big difference, as you say. I wonder where that is, though. Maybe it's villages. Maybe it's it's in army. It's probably more villages, I would say. More citizens, yeah, I'd say so as well. Uh, especially considering there really hasn't been a lot in terms of oh, Max out on the, the third city of Red Bull, having had it for a fairly brief interval and having it sieged quite hard. I would like to see some more siege units here from John Stark. Even defensive ones, they're easily within range of uh, the third city of Red Bull. And I guess the same applies for Red Bull. Why doesn't he have the, the siege units and uh, is being aggressive when the, the two cities are so close together? I actually really like how John Stark is, is now going for this city instead, the second city. Because the third city is no longer vulnerable. It's, it's now a large city. It has a tower. It has the temple. There isn't really any reason to go for that one compared to this, apart from maybe some harassment on, on the, the citizens mining the metal, but as far as sieging is concerned, uh, much safer as, as you say. And there's, there's no castle here. I don't think there's a castle at all, actually, for Red Bull. I uh, haven't seen one, no. no. So we'll be sieging that up has a single a bombard, so a bombard's gunpowder age, of course. I'd say Bombard sounds more intimidating than Cannon. It does, Despite yeah. the fact that Cannon is actually a, a better unit, the Enlightenment yeah, Age. Bombard certainly does sound... Oh, trying to build a impressive. castle, but he's denied. Great yeah. work here. I think he's denied. He could deny yeah, that one very easily. Looks denied. There's still Camels, though, but it's only Camels... or Camels of Heavy Knight. Oh, there's another Citizen there. There's the Scaffold... Oh, there's the Aggression! The Scaffold dies very quickly. Yeah, there we go. And Having the Dragoon. Well. Dragoon, uh, great counter to the Villagers. They are the ranged cavalry on the Enlightenment Age. Smart play. Also, the, the scaffold gets gets focused down very quickly while it's being built. You don't have to kill villagers. You can just focus yeah. the scaffold. Certainly is an option. This and has become a very tense high tier game of Rise of Nations. It this is. is actually very yeah, exciting. Yeah, I'm not sure which way I'm leading at the moment. I mean, I guess we'll have a chance to compare economies again. Good stuff from Red Bull. Uh, he's going to be... Man, he's so badass. Mama Luke. Yeah, that is a really cool looking unit. Look, looks How like kind much of cooler than the dragons do you think he is on a scale of 1 to 10? A fair bit cooler. He's going to be a whole lot deader in a second if he doesn't get away from the pikemen, but uh, he looks super cool. Yeah, this castle, getting that one finished uh, would actually be incredibly important for Red Bull. Denying this one would be a massive win for John Stark, and he's trying to, but I don't think he's going to actually succeed here. There's a lot of villagers being pulled. Uh, Red Bull knows how easy it will be denied. Yeah, there's a lot of villages, but still, there's, what, there's pikemen, we have a knight, and and the problem is the city, he has actually had units defending that one, he kind of has to choose, defend the city or, or defend the castle. The city has been reduced, uh, and there's a fair bit of infantry as well, so there's a bit of a two-pronged attack on the side. The castle, though, it will complete. Additional civic being added on here as well, uh, by by uh, Red Bull, he's up one. Additional military. Like, re research, sorry? He's oh, up one yeah. civic, he just added oh, yeah, civic. Yeah, well, he's upgrading military now. Upgrading military now. Castle's finished machine. Nice defensible position for that third city. Really, uh, Red Bull could just focus on defending his second. Marah. I think we're going to see John Stark go for the second city yeah, he now. Wants it. There's only a tower. It's not really a big deal. The keep. And there's actually three bombards. They can take that down very quickly. The city, it is captured. There we go. And now we could see the bombards actually going for the stables as well. Take out those production structures. A lot of firelands already produced by that terracotta army has been churning them out. Got to be careful of a flank around the side to go for these these bombards, but I think Red Bull may be out of this one. His, uh, his in economy is it's not bad, but it's definitely better for Red Bull, mainly the wealth as well. Mm. Yeah, I think he's going to actually abandon this one, but then if he does, he can lose all these production structures, and that's 
you're gonna have to rebuild those and those aren't cheap when you already yeah. have two uh, two stables in a barracks definitely the, the the more important city to go for here with all the all the production structures much more important than the third one Rasmus continues. I'm, I guess the Bombards will just go to work. John Stark just has to keep rallying these troops forward and hold back the army of Red Bull, and Red Bull's just going to lose all his production. There may be a little bit too many Mamelukes, the ranged cavalry. They don't trade that well in an upfront engagement. Uh, if, all against pikemen, they, they do, but... They're, they're expensive. They're, they're what? They're wealth and... I can't remember what else. Wealth and, and timber. So just more more heavy cavalry or even light cavalry would be a good counter to them, Pushing especially light cavalry. There yeah. goes the barracks. Yeah, so barracks is gone. It's going to limit their their production options. And we're seeing a, a barracks be rebuilt. Yeah. If barracks, you know, no, no, Gradery going to be thrown down. In fact, Red Bull obviously fairly confident in his ability to hold back this push. I, I suppose the druids, if they, if, sorry, the Mamluks, if they keep kiting, they have a, a decent amount of DPS, but they don't want to be fighting in with these pikemen. Oh, we have a spy. Maybe, I think he got killed the spy before and right. bribe connected. And Lightman's going to be done here for Red Bull. Oh, wow. He's actually in head and age yeah, now. I know. But yeah, But again, there's no production structures. Mm. Built, finally building a barracks, but that... It actually has no production. Yeah, 90 pop cap against 64 now. He's not in a great spot. Going for the, the university would be a great target. It's, mm. it's very easy to reach that. Third production facility down here. Stables and barracks. Only the, the siege factory left. And then the bombards can get to work, as you said, machine on, onto that university. Barracks and a stable. Another barracks there, the scaffold's been thrown down. The castle, also easy to get siege. Yeah, that will open up the third city, but he doesn't really have to go for the third city. He can just go straight for the, the, the capital. Straight for the heart. Certainly a possibility. Do you see anything else getting added on here, interestingly, for John Stark? Any more production facilities or anything? There's the assimilation as well. Oh, for John Stark, yes, yeah. his Enlightenment Age. Yeah, assimilation, yeah. so they're yeah. very important now. He can start to fortify this one, get some repairs down. It's time to go for Enlightenment his, himself as well. It means there'll also be attrition damage if he fights into here, uh, Red Bull. So it'll be difficult for Red Bull to actually move units in between his two cities. Yeah, it looks like he will lose his fortress too. Have we seen the the Monarch? No, we have the Despot. So both of our players are only having the, 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 the Tier 1 governments. Oh, Monarch. No, that's not true. Monarch here from Red Bull. Giving a buff to his cavalry, actually. Great work. And makes him cheaper too. The last ride of the, the Mamelukes, it seems, machine. <laughs> John Stark just wanting to uh, hold on to the city, smartly uh, pulling through this, actually getting the repairs down onto it as well now. Is it the last ride because they're about to turn into Royal Mamelukes? I don't know, man. It could be. Definitely a possibility. Yeah, there we go. Gets a bit of a buff up there, yeah. but... Inducted into the Royal Family or something? Or... <laughs> they're still not particularly strong against Fire Lancers or, or just your basic now, infantry, yeah. unless they're pikemen. If Fusilies even, so that Enlightenment Edge units they have come online is actually less food income for, for John Stark than what there is for, for Red Bull. Maybe John Stark should get his commerce. He can't afford it. Throw down some more farms, especially now that he has the yeah. city. This is the point where you add on an additional economy behind. Uh, and sure, you can hang on to that forward city for sure, but add on the additional economy. Make sure you're, you're in a fantastic position, which he definitely looks like he is at the moment. I think so. that the difference here is that John Stark doesn't have the, the granary upgrades. See, we see there's, there's a smelter here. doesn't have the upgrade. I don't know about a granary, but I can only assume that there's no upgrades. Where obviously the hanging garden. There's no granary at all. So, yeah, that, that, that's why the, the income is actually very similar, despite having, what, five cities? Or is yeah. that only four? four. One, it's four, four. cities four compared now. to yeah. two. Um, so, efficiency. Quant quantity isn't always the most important thing, but... Uh, Still, quantity of production structures is a very important thing and won't be something Red Bull can particularly yeah. enjoy for long. Look, they're still going down. The cannons now are for John Stark. It doesn't th I don't think Red Bull will be long for this game. Yeah, there's the Manchu Musketeers. Here. I think that's the last tier of Chinese specialized light infantry. Yeah. Cheap and quick to create. Okay, so a bit more spammable. There. Plus, more fun for the Terracotta army. He gets to change up the unit composition a bit, so. Still, the game isn't over just yet, but the, the damage has been, has been done here. I love how these cannons have been active. They're, they're constantly sniping down buildings. Mm. Getting the market, too, would certainly help as well. Uh, prevent, also, preventing caravans is what he's doing. 64 wealth income, 200 capped out wealth. That, when, when you have two separated cities, you're going to be preventing the caravans. 
and just the fact there's such little territory. But he has a third city being thrown down. Oh, wow. He's not done. Red Bull is not done with this game. He's like, no way, man. I can get back into this. No worries. However, yeah, GG. Plays on the line of an it, age, it's, it's, only, GG. it's only Mamelukes yeah. against uh, Musketeers, and Musketeers will be countering those Mamelukes. But yeah. I, either way, GG. But well played by Red Bull. I, I loved how he, he was he was consistent here. But, I mean, yeah, that's, that's my question to the guys in the comments. Is is this, this early hanging gardens... I, I can't really see the reasoning behind it. Like, I, I don't know his benefits, but it, it's a big investment in the yeah. early game, and we, we saw ourselves that it, it didn't really pay off. Not I mean, a lot. It didn't seem to. I mean, obviously, Red Bull had the upgrade advantage in terms of economy early on. It allowed him to, to have a, a similar economy just off, off less off less, less citizens. I mean, we saw that like, the economy was pretty close, but even the, the, when the pop cap was considerably different uh, in, in the favor of John Stark, but... Yeah, I don't know. GG. It's pretty cool to watch. I suppose Red Bull... I, I'm not to tell him how to play because I would never go there, but maybe he should have added on more units that are good against Fire Lancers. Or I mean, more cavalry. More, more cavalry. I mean, yeah, why not? Because he knows that the, the majority of the, the uh, military production coming in from John Stark is going to be thanks army. to the Terracotta yeah. Army. So it would make sense to build... Uh, units that, that counter uh, what's flowing out of that terracotta army because the chances are your opponent's going to have a lot of them and that could be your your chance to win these these military engagements. It's really the, the one flaw of the terracotta army is that it only produces uh, one variety of unit, which is certainly counterable uh, with the Rise of Nations counter system. So. Yeah, and, and even then, th th this wasn't a, a crazy hardcore aggressive game because there wasn't the despot. There wasn't the, the really early cavalry raids. But I guess Red Bull, he, he had enough defensive structures. He had towers everywhere. He had... Yeah. That, that those cavalry raids they they would have been a bit difficult to achieve. But anyway, that'll wrap us up for now. I hope you enjoyed the cast. It was actually a blast. This was probably the best Rising Ace game we've done in a while. Uh, of course, if you do want to support us, you can do so at Patreon. We are posting a video every day, and so we are, we are doing this full time and kind of relying upon the the generous backing of of our fans. So that would be appreciated. But anyway, we'll see you next time. Cheers.